Yeah. Winner, winner, yeah. chicken dinner. Yeah. I'm a hot boy like the summertime. I wish gonna like Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, today's video got an absolute banger. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do that insane sort of music video transition that you've just seen. Really quickly though, before we get to the video, if you can just drop a like and subscribe to the channel with the post notifications on, that mean a lot. Also, make sure to use code Taron the Item Shop at 3,000 supporters. I'm doing a free editing pack, so make sure you're using code Taron the Item Shop. And finally, if you want to take your editing to the next level, you know what to go ahead and do. Check out my editing pack, link in the description. It's got everything that you need to become a better editor. It gets updated very frequently, so go ahead and check that out. And let's get into the video, boys. Right, guys, so as you can see, it's the next day. A bit of change in scenery here, but I want to get this video out for you guys. I'm going to start recording now. Basically, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just apply your presets, your impact, your build up. Get all the effects that you want on your clip because today we're going to be mainly focusing on the transition. I'm going to be using my Twix, the presets out in my ultimate editing pack if you want to use those. Go ahead and do so. Basically, first you want to mark up where you want the transition to start. So I'm going to recommend you do somewhere where the lyrics just start to, well, when they start to say a new line or something is a good area to add your transition as it's quite distinct and you can find where that is in the music video. So once you find the first frame where those lyrics have been spoken and you've created your marker using M on your keyboard, what you can go ahead and do is find that first frame and then you want to go ahead and move this and place it just on top of the transition marker. Now one thing to note is you want to place your second clip and make sure that it has a few frames before the marker just so that it can overlay very very nicely. Then what you want to go ahead and do is add your slide down and also you want to find where you can mask out the character and you don't want this to be too long otherwise the transition is just going to last ages and not look good. Right, so I'm going to find a good frame. You can use this song if you want. I highly recommend it for this sort of video. It's pretty easy and it's got a nice music video to work with. What you want to go ahead and do is see in this sort of area, it'd be quite easy to mask around the person and cut it out there. So that's what I'm going to do. Firstly, though, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames in. And we're going to split that. And here we're just going to add a nice simple transition just using pan and crop. So move this all the way down at the bottom. Then you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up to the end of the clip. Hit restore, and then you want to make this smooth, and also make this one smooth, just so it's a nice smooth transition down, as you can see. Then once you've gone ahead and done that, you're going to have your clip. Again, you want to go back to that area where you think would be nice and easy to, you know, crop it out. This depends. You can do this however you like. In my opinion, I think this is quite easy to do. So now we're going to right-click, insert, remove envelope, and add a freeze frame at cursor. And what you need to go ahead and do now is basically crop this all out. You're going to need a bit of patience, but realistically, it is quite easy. All you need to do is basically go around the edges. And I'm just going to do this very roughly. I'm going to redo it much better. Basically, when you get to around the top of the head of the character, you want to sort of move over to the side and just go around the corner so you get a bit of the foreground in there because I think that, that just looks really, really good. So obviously, you do a much better job than I did there. I've just done it really really rushed but it's for the sake of this video so i can show you guys how to do it basically now you want to bait you don't want it to be too long at this point so i recommend around 20 frames 30 frames is good you want to split the clip there and here's where we can start to add the movement for the transition so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is grab your newspaper i've got this exact image in my discord if you want to go ahead and use it it's going to be linked in the description in the hashtag download section and then what you want to go ahead and do is move this up one layer Move the newspaper behind so it's right there and then you want to change this to best full and hit the snapshot file and then go ahead and save that then that's going to pop up here and what you can go ahead and do is get this image and you can basically crop around the character using the newspaper and then we can see that we can apply this onto the other one so just copy what i do just make some jagged edges not that jagged just just you don't have to be very precise at all you can literally just go around unlike the actual character where you do want to be precise here you can just go around the edges and as you can see you've got a bit of an outline of newspaper there. Then we're going to right click, copy and then go onto the actual newspaper itself. We're going to selectively paste the attributes and go onto the pan and crop. And as you can see that's going to have that perfectly there on the image. So it's all done and now we can go ahead and get rid of that. So now that you've gone ahead and got this, what we can go ahead and do is add some transitions. So for the first one of these two, you want to add a slide down transition. I'm sure a lot of you guys do already have presets for that. It's probably the most commonly used preset. If not, you can use Blamo curves and just add a slide down transition. All right, guys, so now you can see that you've got a bit of a slide down right here when this comes into place. It looks a bit weird when you move it frame by frame, but once you fully play, it will look a lot better. And if you like, you can add a bit of shake to sort of give it a bit more movement and just so it's not static. 
then we're going to add a slide right transition right here so you just want to split the clip at the same area of both and then remove these effects and then just add a any old slide right transition again if you don't have them there's loads of tutorials on youtube i know there's a guy that does a lot of free presets of transitions because they're super easy to make and you just go ahead and apply those there Right, so now you just want to really, really bring this together and, you know, make it look good. You want to go ahead and add BCC posterized time. Go ahead and copy my settings right here. And the frame separation is up to you. If you want it to be quite framey and sort of lag a bit, I know that doesn't sound like what you want, but it does really, really look good and helps fit to the frame of the video. So you can have uh, four, three to five, I think, is a good amount. I'm just going to stick with three here. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this onto all of these here. And it's just going to make it a bit more framey and really fit the theme of your video. So just go ahead and apply those to every single clip. You can just uh, hit D a few times, select it all and apply it on like that as well. But yeah, guys, that's basically how you do your effect. As you can see, it's going to slide down and it's quite framey. And then you're going to get your slide down impact right here. And then this one will eventually slide off to the right. It's quite simple, but it looks really, really good. And you can implement it in your video a few times to really add a new element to it. And it makes it look really, really good. But yeah, guys, that's basically the whole video there. I really hope you did enjoy this video. It did help you out. If it did, you know what to do. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. It really does mean a lot to me. And at 3,000 supporters, I'm doing a free editing pack. So make sure to use Kotar on the item shop. But more insane unique sort of stuff like this make sure to check out my editing pack it's got all of that stuff that you're going to need to become an insane editor that's the end of the video and i'll see you in the next one peace